There's Elio. And then watch at the end uh, there is Ed Carpenter. I don't know Ed did that. That was see a clear track ahead of him. Nerves and time when you're, you just uh, can drive easy. And wow, you're just, oh. oh. How important are uh, points? It's uh, important uh, enough no. that the 22 machine, oh my goodness. I can't, Neil Alberico, Davey, he just, uh, he, he was trying to make a move there, got too aggressive and drove right over the rear of R.C. Anderson. Yeah, it really. Wow, I, I don't know. That that was just totally 100% uncalled for. I mean, then Lady Luck interrupts the magical day, just two minutes before the end of practice. The Andretti survive another roller coaster ride at Indy. She had been in the pits. She was leaving on cold tires. Three, two, As we watch oh. J.R. Hildebrand, man, <laughs> think what is going on? It's safer out of 220 miles per hour than it is on a pit lane. Man, wow. And that was not cold tires. Now here is the Marco situation. Three wide here, make that four. I, I don't understand any of that. Coming down the back straight, 180 miles an hour. You break as late as possible. The pit speed limit doesn't start until just around the corner. Gets in too hot, nails the back of Christian Fittipaldi. Car makes an immediate left, blocking Max Wilson's pit. Oh, man. Well, Bruno Gencara out, and we now have to wonder about the condition of Christian Fittipaldi's car, Jan Bikas. There are several cones there. Watch the right side of your screen. He gets down here in this lane, sees those cones coming up. Doesn't want to try getting up into the Dominguez part of the racetrack. Oops. Well, I guess it would have been tough for him to stay on that piece of pavement. That's his right, front that wing. nose high. That's a little nose high. His front wing is stuck underneath the car. That's something that you generally don't see very often. There is Mario Haberfeld. That's on lap 43. Back out again, and this is probably the reason. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> takes the front door. I don't think he could have oh got it back gosh. without getting into the pit lane. I don't think so. There's a wall there. Well, Herta comes out, has to stab the brakes for a second. Oh, and now Kanan in one of the target cars into the barrier coming off the east end. It looks to be Jimmy Vassar. Yeah, that's the fast corner, turn number eight. Oh, we've got another car in, one of the Penske cars. That's Tarso. Then battling Oriel Serbia for fourth in a drag race to the chicane. Serbia crossing the chicane, and you're going to see he'll punt Tracy pretty hard. Puts him sideways, lots of damage to the car. Tracy, as you can imagine, not pleased. By the way, it was reported that Cal Wells told Serbia over the radio after the accident that his services were no longer required for next year. Yeah, fired during the race. Uh, a typical rookie mistake. Talk me through what happened there. I guess I just totally misunderstood the thing. It was too it was too good to be true. You know, I went before uh, the start finish line, and I thought it was just when they when they said green on the radio, and I and I went when they said green. So it's too good to be true. So what did Pop say to you after that one? You screwed up. On the outside, things up oh, yeah. quickly. No sign of it yet. Dario had made a nice getaway on that restart. Oh, when that, look at that. That's Tagliani who lost the left front. And the red flag is out. It's just, uh, right. it's easy to do right there. You can actually guess it. Speed in that double left hander. I'm fucking furious with myself. I just can't even, I mean, last lap, last corner, lost it again. So I'm just really pissed off. Fuck this guy! <laughs> <laughs>